out there. Great reporting from Charlie. In fact, the Saharan dust transit over the Atlantic has been going on for centuries. And it's actually, get this, it's always been beneficial to the Amazon rainforest. It provides significant nutrients that are only found in parts of the Saharan soil and just underneath the dust layer on the ground. So even though we feel like this is a new thing, it's not. And it's vitally needed in parts of South America and the Amazon. Really cool stuff. They travel over a thousand miles, these aerosols that are just micro particles, very hard to see. You could definitely tell it's out there, obviously, right now. If you are predisposed to any uh, conditions, any respiratory conditions, you may see a little difference out there. Take it carefully. Any activity out there, certainly ongoing tonight. David did post this map earlier just a moment ago as well. Unhealthy for sensitive groups, and then unhealthy in the red sections, our northern counties and our eastern counties. One of the main reasons for this, where have we seen rain today? In our western counties. So a little rain mixing in does help it. Now, it mitigates severe heavy rain potential. If we're talking about tropical systems, it certainly does that. But once you have light rain showers out there, it really actually combines. The water droplets can hold microparticles anyway. When you have the Saharan dust in the lower part of the atmosphere, it'll be picked up in those water droplets. So all along the Gulf Coast, we're seeing this. All right, let's take Sky Eye Live. Still taking a look at some of the dust out there. And again, we're seeing this dust. It'll be here through the, the weekend. And there you go, live view there. Look at that. And you can almost see the brown tint to it. Those microparticles particles are some of them are invisible to the eye and yet when you have this level of concentration you can see it take over the skyline i wish we were able to see the sunset today hopefully we will in the next few days that'll be the one really nice thing with this but then we'll see that kind of go down and mitigate over the next few days and then another plume comes tuesday wednesday but it'll be less and then late next week we'll see it finally move out there it is there's your dust cast right there again breakthrough monday tuesday then here's that next plume not quite as dense but this may actually also mitigate rain chances and anything in the Gulf through the end of June. So things looking good. We'll talk more about what's ahead for July and your forecast, including July 4th, up ahead in about 10 minutes. All right, Colin, thanks so much. Let's get.